Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. In today's video session, we are going to discuss about summer 22 release feature, which is related to Salesforce flows, wherein we will be adding the headings and the collapsible sections to our screen flows. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to make use of the already existing screen flow that we have created in our previous video sessions, wherein we have leveraged the sections component. And now we will see how can you add a header and make that section as collapsible in our demo. So having a description or a heading will make the user experience uh, better. Like when you add a section to the when, when you add a heading or description to the section, it will provide some context to our users, right? Like um, what is that section is all about? Suppose in the real time scenarios, you may have a lot of different informations on a single screen. Now, when you add a sections and that section has some heading, it will give a great readable format to our, all our users, right? They will be easily able to differentiate what each section um, talks about. So we can make the section collapsible when we add various screens, various sections to the screen. Suppose you are, you are creating a screen flow, okay? That screen flow may have a lot of different components, like we may have a pick list value, we can have text field, we can have choice set, date, and likewise, we can have various uh, components added to the screen flow. Now, imagine we have a lot of different components being added. Now, when you segregate these fields into various sections and each section having a header with a collapsible feature will make it will pro, will make it easy to use with a greater user experience. The readable format of the screen flow will be great. So that is what we are going to discuss in our today's session. How can you add a heading and make those sections as collapsible when you make use of the multiple section components in your screen flow? So if at all you are watching our videos for the first time, I would request you all to please visit our channel SFDC One Stop, wherein we have 100 plus Salesforce tutorial. And whatever the topic we are going to discuss about lightning screen flow is something which we have already covered in our previous video session so you can go through that specific topic we will be making use of the same screen flow that we have created in our previous video sessions a basic screen flow where we have make made use of the section component we will see how can you add a heading to that section components and what it makes a difference with regards to the summer 22 feature release so let us now log in into our summer 22 developer sandbox so this is my summer 22 developer sandbox. Okay. And here, okay, let me try to expand this. So let's try to navigate to the flow. So this is my summer 22 developer org. So I'm navigating to my screen flow, which I have created. So here we will be making use of the section component. So before we make use of the section components, let's navigate to our previous developer sandbox, developer um, uh, sandbox, wherein developer org, wherein I have already used the section component. So here you can see, right? This is my first flow demo. Here I have leveraged the section component. So from the right hand side, let me close this. Now, when I open the screen component, here you can see, right? I use the section component. So you can make a difference here. Here, when you add the sections, it will ask you to configure the columns, whether it is six of 12, six of 12. If you want to add the columns, you can go ahead and add it. However, you're not able to see any other features that is being provided uh, in my older developer uh, sandbox. Likewise, if you want to add few more sections, I can uh, very well go ahead and drag the component and add it here. Now this section, it's like you can add the columns. If you wanted to make use of the any of the fields, you can add those fields here. Like if you have checkbox, you can add. Then you, if you have date, you can add. And this date, you can provide the label and the field name. So likewise, I have added multiple sections here, right? So this sections will divide 
this into two columns likewise you can add multiple sections so that is the that is what we have discussed in our previous video uh, section related to the screen flow now when i try to run this what will happen it will just display it in the normal format wherein for the sections whatever we have in the screen you will be able to see that you have rows and columns however we do not have any headings and the section is also not collapsible but with this summer 22 feature release you can add the headings so i have the same screen flow here in my summer 22 i have used the screen component sorry section component here and you can see the difference right this section is now provided with couple of more details like if you want to include the header you see prior to summer 22 you were only able to see these fields right these um, section the uh, these columns configure columns if you want to add more columns you can do that however this header section was not available now when you click on this add a header to the section a section with a header is collapsible and expanded by default so whenever you make this um, you, when you add this header the header section which is collapsible and it is collapsible by default so now when you add this here you can provide the description you know what this section talks about if it is if you are trying to ask uh, the personal information to the users you can give the name of the section as personal details likewise i have company details company name and address so according to your business use case you can add multiple screen multiple sections and each section you can have the header and these header details with the description if you wanted to make any further changes you can do that also company details likewise i have given the header now click on done so this is how the you can update the section component with the include header when you include this header you will be able to add the description the label for whatever the sections you are using so click on done now when you try to debug it and run the flow you will be seeing two sections with a proper headings to those uh, sections so it is taking some time i think i've already opened this one you see here yeah how nicely uh, the section the screen component is being displayed to the end user now think from the user perspective who is trying to view your component view your portal or view your um, um, screen it the ui and the ux experience is uh, it is great for them right you are making it very readable so these are my personal detail section these are my company details if they don't want to see the person detail section they can make it as collapsible you know not, um, and then you can if you have likewise multiple sections it is up to the user they can make it as you if they want to update the company details they can go ahead and update the company details if they have personal information they can go ahead and update the personal information so this is what is all about the summer 22 release feature having the headers and with the headers it will make the sections uh, collapsible so this is one of the good feature that is provided uh, by uh, salesforce as a part of the summer 22 feature release so this is what we have for today's session if you find our videos helpful and informative please continue to like subscribe and share our channel until we come up with our next video session um, please do take care of yourself signing off yours namrata kariyala bye bye